Hi again, friends, family, and colleagues. I come to you again with another resort room reveal. This is Boardwalk Club Level, and it's not as clean and fresh as Beach Club. It's a little outdated, but it still has charm. Let me show you around. So here we are in the hallway. The doors are white, and here's an example of what the hallway looks like. And there's a suite right there, Sonora Suite. This will be room 4220. And I've already taken the liberty of opening the door, so I'm just going to push that door open, which is white, like I said. And we enter into the main walkway area as you come in through the door. To my immediate left, I just have wallpaper, yellow and white striped, little bit of texture, very light. Open area for the bathroom there. To my immediate right, I have a stand. This seems to be a little bit more updated. Let's take a look. On the top, we have the ice bucket. That is really interesting, not in the theme of anything in particular, but like gray with like a woven basket style. Keurig machine, uh, single serve, it would appear, um, with a few pods. A little high up, I'm noticing. So it's like, I'm, this is at my level of my head almost and looks like way up there so i'm gonna have to like step onto my tippy toes can you see like the shadow of me you can see that like my head only just crests to where just about the top of the curric is very interesting um old-fashioned uh photos here on the wall with the harpswell maine 1904 oh maine is somewhere i want to go that's on my bucket list y'all so right here we have some interesting pulls. They say Boardwalk Arcade. So that is really cute. And like I said, charming. Uh, more supplies for the coffee maker inside this drawer uh, just in front of me. And then underneath, same kind of pull, is a mini fridge with a shelf that you may place, you know, products that you don't need for the fridge. A little pantry stuff area. Maybe for your snacks from the club. Uh, it is set to 68 degrees in this room. Okay, so I took a two steps, a uh, few steps forward. Hello in the mirror. Um, this seems to be more of an updated area. Open area underneath the sink, made to look almost like a shelf that's been built in. Um, double bay sink, not super deep, but very nice. We have a shelf on top. And then interestingly, we have the products here. So they're going with the gray theme and I like gray. Uh, that's very nice, but they didn't get very much. You only get mouthwash, a shower cap, vanity kit, and body lotion. And body lotion you'll get in any Disney resort room. And facial soap you'll get in any Disney resort room. So the only upgrades here are interestingly, the mouthwash and the vanity kit and shower cap. That's it, fascinating. So we have the lighted mirrors on the wall, and we have a very standard uh, mirror here that has been framed up on the wall. Two pot lights at the top, and just below we have a hair dryer. Now, once again, interestingly, I thought that was a first time and only time thing over at club level at the Coronado Springs, but once again, we have a white mat that has been laid out here. So very interesting addition of these white mats. So as I turn to my immediate left in the bathroom area, I have my full length mirror in the door. And then I'll just go ahead and open this up and my guess is we'll have a shower tub combo, which we do, and a toilet right next to the tub. Now this is a standard club level room. Let me get some lights on for you. And the lights have come on. Okay, ooh, look at this. We have Ferris wheels in the curtain and the shower liner is an ivory color right there. So we do not have a handheld. We just have a shower head, so that's that. Two shelves in the corner. You get the standard standalone products. Normally these are bolted to the wall, but here at the boardwalk it appears at the club level you get the standalone products to take home with you, which is nice. Uh, these have just little beads inset into the wall with some grout, so that's kind of fun, just some tiles. And then the brown wavy earthen uh, bigger tiles that surround the tub, which has a generous lip on the side of it. And that is pretty much it. So yeah. 
Okay, so I've taken the liberty of opening the closets, which are located to the right as you come in through the entryway. So past the Keurig machine on the right are closets, and we have wooden hangers, we have robes. Now, here's the thing about these robes. Let's take and move these to the side. Sorry for that noise. Thin. No special lining, nothing particularly, but they're on a like satin hanger that's cushy. That reminds me of stuff that my grandma used to have. Um, we do have slippers down there in the corner. Do you see those? We got some slippers down there. Extra pillows and blankets. There's a safe over there if I were to open the other side of the closet, which I will not. Uh, luggage rack, iron and ironing board. Okay, so well, there's the iron and then there's the ironing board. Okay, so straight ahead we have the bedroom area, if you will. Two beds. They appear to be queens. Could be fulls. These might be full size. Two full size beds. I don't think it's, it's certainly not a king. Um, I'll ask when I go down. Uh, I think it might be full size beds. Could be wrong. Might be queens. Uh, nevertheless, bolster pillows, uh, blue on each with the four pillows for each bed. Um, you get two of those extensions off of the headboard, which reminds me of like a raised canopy bed or where you would have a four post bed, but it's a two post bed that goes up with the sconce lights on the wall. Uh, a little old fashioned, but I think that's part of the charm is the idea is that this is intended to be something around the early 1900s amusement park lifestyle on the East Coast. So the boardwalk lifestyle of the time as evidenced by this on the wall. This art on the wall is evidence of just what I was speaking about, and that is that early 1900s vibe, uh, which gives it its charm, makes it a little bit unique. Um, but there might be some features that could be updated. You'll see what I mean in a moment. Okay, so here's an old-fashioned phone with a cord. Uh, the Boardwalk, room 4220, does have a speaker, but the whole push-button corded phone thing, that's that's a little bit of yesteryear right there. I, I think with the phones, they might do a little bit of an upgrade. What do I know? Nothing. I know nothing. Um, fun, old-fashioned postcards. Having a wonderful time at the boardwalk. Donald and Daisy, Mickey and Minnie. They're sending it to them in Disneyland. How nice of them. Okay. Um, these are charming. Uh, continuation of the same theme over here on the other bed. So, very nice. I'm just going to step back and show you that there is one nightstand in between the two beds. So it is a shared nightstand. I don't know if it has a drawer. It might right here. Let's take a look. Um, as I step forward, you betcha. It's a drawer. There's your Bible as placed by the Gideons. I don't know who the Gideons are. Are any of you Gideons? Do you know any Gideons? I've always wondered who the Gideons are. Just a point of curiosity. I'm going to turn around kind of slowly here. All right. So right here we have a couch that can pull out. However, I think it would pull out only into a one-person sleeper because there wouldn't be any room to pull it out anymore, as you can see, as evidenced by the fact that this is so close to the main bed. So my understanding, this is probably going to sleep five. All right, what do we have up here? We have the TV. This is that old-fashioned TV again. So I've seen this at Vero Beach and a few places along the way. Some, uh, some places have had upgraded TVs with the smart TV and the seamless integration between your phone so you would watch anything on your phone and then this does mirroring as i understand so a little bit one generation back with what disney has been putting in rooms uh, so this could be updated as well and my guess is eventually they will especially since this is a club level stay a uh, chest of drawers underneath it appears that we have doors on the side so let's open those up and yeah, they're just, it's almost like an entertainment stand, but it's also a chest of drawers. So we have drawer here, then the four drawers in the middle, the same configuration on the other side. At the top, we have ports for charging, and that is super useful in nowadays times. So this is the artwork above the couch, and it is of an old fashioned carousel and with all of the people from let's say the early 1900s. In fact, I think that might be the carousel right at Magic Kingdom, but the idea would be that this would be if it existed in the early 1900s because Walt Disney World uh, didn't arrive 
in Florida until 1971. They've splashed that on a number of their products. And that looks like Cinderella Castle in the background, but look, I could be wrong. So this is like the idea, I think, if it were to have existed in the 1900s, what people would have looked like going about. So it's a, a creative idea, uh, artistically generated here as a piece of art that's on the wall in the Boardwalk Club level rooms. In the corner, we have a floor lamp, just like that. We have that continuation of the yellow and white striped theme, uh, wallpaper, and then we come to the curtain. Now, these curtains are very boardwalk specific. Look at that, literally says boardwalk on them. And it has all of these, oh, this is called tuile, I think. It's a tuile fabric uh, or motif, if you will. Um, I say if you will a lot, but look at all this. Look at all these, aren't these fun? They're all so interesting. So this is a really interesting curtain to say the least. And then behind it is a shear that has a lattice weave into it. And then our view comes next. Uh, let me show you that and then bring you back into the room. So, well, what if I did this first? There we go. There we go. You're going with me for the first time. Look at this. So I don't know exactly where I am to be honest with you. Well, I can tell you I'm on the fourth floor and I've never gone this direction in the boardwalk before, so this is like a little special area, but you can see the Skyliner in the back with the beautiful white, uh, puffy, cumulus clouds, blue skies, lovely trees here. Is that a lilac tree? Wow. These are lilac, are those lilac trees? Who knows about plants and horticulture? Um, an open grassy area for, who knows? I guess just playing throwing a ball, playing catch. Looks like a quiet pool over there with a spa. Um, and then there's all these like trellis areas that lead out into the garden. So maybe they're little cottages. They appear to be like almost little English cottages. You can see like these little garden spaces below in each one of these little spots, but these roofs are covering or obscuring what it is that I'm trying to uh, explain. You can see the little Mickey heads inside right there. Uh, isn't that interesting? It's pretty cool, huh? Okay, so on my little club level patio, I have two chairs and they have this design in the background, not boardwalk specific, um, just with the chairs, this is the style. And then we have one patio table and you can see the tile. Now, it looks like we have awnings above each one with a blue and white stripe and you can see above me, I have the same thing. So the next door neighbor has a similar awning that goes out over uh, to give you the shade which is nice to have. So here is a little bit of a 180, what I'm seeing as I look out my balcony. Okay, so I've headed back into the room to show you this last little thing, some details on this side desk. So we have what appears to be Minnie with her top hat sitting nicely, and then I can just turn that lamp on for viewing anything uh, more in the evening hours. We have a take-along guide to the magic, more charging ports. We have this design that's laid into the table desk here. We have a chair, and this one is super specific to the boardwalk. Would you look at that? Is that not classy and charming all at the same time? I haven't seen that in any other chairs in any other locations. Oh, look at this. We have Mickey's and the Newell posts. Well, that's not a Newell post. Leg post? Table leg? Well, anyway, there it is. You see that? Isn't that neat? It's pretty cool, huh? Get a little bit of a idea there. Oh, and then this table right here, you can pull it out and create a secondary uh, location. So I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. So I've taken the liberty of pulling that table out so that you can see you can come here and eat some snacks or somebody could be... Um, it just gives you an extended area, extended space for you to work if you needed to work here. And then there is a mirror just above the table. And that is it. So this is a standard room at the boardwalk club level. And I will show you the club and its features in another video. Uh, but for right now, this is what you would get if you were to book a club level stay which is called the Innkeepers Club at Boardwalk Resort.
here in Orlando, Florida. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the space below and I will read your comments and make an attempt to answer any questions that you may have. Thanks again for your time and I hope to see you again.